sorted with a cup of tea? Yeah. Yeah. Biscuits? Uh -huh. I'm going to demonstrate a beetroot and feta salad. And the reason why I chose that is because most of us are growing beetroot. Okay. Well, my name's Lindsay. My I've been a veg advocate from almost the very beginning. It's, it's a really, really lovely Mediterranean colourful salad and I bought some bread that we can just like dip in because when I finish, we're all just going to dive in and try it. Part and parcel of the growing initiative is to get that connection with, with the outdoors. Who can tell me what seeds they planted? Beetroot and peas. Beetroot and peas, okay. Get people outdoors, get people growing things. Here, what we're trying to do is support them, get them to cook, show them how easy it is and how cheap. Here is the beetroot. I've only been coming here for a couple of weeks, but I've learned a lot in that couple of weeks to do with garden and stuff. I've done a lot more cooking things here, but I've now started to want to cook with things that I'm growing and learn how to start it all off. We're working with vulnerable people, we're working with people that are possibly socially isolated, that maybe don't see somebody from, from week to week. We're working with people that have a limited amount of income. It's important that we tend not to know an awful lot about their backgrounds, but we do know that they have to be referred in to the programme. As the weeks go on, they start to trust you and they'll start opening up and they'll say, oh, well, we haven't actually spoken to anybody since we were here last week. And the feta. I think it's, it's very important that opportunities like this are available to the everyday public just so that people can eat healthier and um, it also gives them the opportunity to spend less money on eating healthier now that they're learning how to grow it for themselves. The brilliant thing about Peace Please is that they ask you what do you think might work? Um, you know your community, um, you know the people that are in your community, so what are they looking for? For chopping herbs, just keep it all bundled up. And then just give it a wee, a wee chip chop like that. So at home I'm growing carrots, radishes and some lettuces, because those are some of my favourite vegetables and I'm hoping that I'll be able to make a nice salad out of those vegetables. It takes time for the, for the seeds to grow, so you need, you need something to keep, keep the interest. I cannot believe the engagement that we're getting um, with the Peace Please um, WhatsApp group. What I've done here, and I shall just show you on our little WhatsApp group, is I made a container out of a yogurt pot. I'm growing yellow courgettes in that, and this morning there was two shoots coming through, so I was really excited. Part of the, the Peace Please initiative, um, we were given um, a grant um, of up to £200 to use. Um, I knew of somebody else who was a veg advocate and she wasn't really sure of um, what to do, so um, we joined forces um, and wrote the proposal together. So the majority of the money went on buying seeds. We felt it was really important that we gave people everything that they needed to grow. Actually, the difficult part is you start with a packet of seeds and some dirt and you're just wondering where to go from there. I included within the budget to do some fact sheets so that um, people then would they would get an initial fact sheet which is telling them how to plant, how to grow, and then there would be another one where to, to basically say, you know, this is when you know your crops are ready. Just throw all the ingredients in and give it a shake. Once we get towards the end of the project and all our seeds have germinated and grown and we've got so much veg that we really don't know what to do with it, we're going to bring them all back here to Greener Kirkcaldy and we're going to have another um, session. And, but it will be using their ingredients. So you just would pop a hole in the bottom. We want you to continue to grow once we've finished our workshop. Hopefully, because we've worked together for six to eight weeks, they will have made some friendships and they'll, and they'll carry on. The whole point of this 
is that it becomes sustainable. What, what we didn't want is to do an initiative that after the six weeks finished. Et voila, a beetroot and feta salad. A la peas, please. With the cost of living going up, I reckon it will definitely change what, how much people are looking at what they are buying. They'll be a lot more focused on what they're spending at the shop and looking for things like that that you could just get a freebie if you stuck it in your garden. A lot of these things seem to grow very quickly. The current cost of living crisis, I think, is, is it's huge. These people need support, and, but it's not, it's not coming. The knowledge that anybody really can do it, I think, needs to be put out there more. We need to shout out much more about what, what we, the success is that, the, that we've had so that more people are really aware um, of, of Peace Please. Please.